Dear guests, good no noon to all of you. It is my pleasure and honor to open Professor Michel Revel 80th birthday, the Gvurot, here at the Academy of Science and to serve as the chair of this event. Something like master of ceremony. I am not responsible for anything. <laughs> I would like to welcome all of you, the family, Claire, the children, grandchildren, and also, in parentheses, gr great grandchildren who are probably small enough to stay at home. Am I right? <laughs> okay. Colleagues from the academy here and at large, and Weizmann Institute, from the industry and the Innovation Authority, some companies, and in particular, Kadima STEM, and many friends, of, of course. I, I have known Michel, probably heard about him, for many years. But since 2012, when I had joined Kadima STEM, a, show, a, a startup that was founded by Michel and Yossi, I got to know him much better. And from this point of view, I can say really and solely that Michel is a rare combination of great scientist, entrepreneur, innovator, and R&D leader. In short, I'm sure that Michel is a great pe person and you, you, you will hear about him later this day. Later, I'll give some main details about Michel Bio, but now I would like to start with inviting Professor Nelly Cohen, the president of the Academy today, to say some greetings. Nelly, please. Thank you very much, Eli. Hi, Michel. Hi, dear friends. Hi, Rotarnon, my predecessor, the former president of the Academy, the first woman who was the president of the Academy, who paved the way from other women, like me. And um, uh, I'm happy to see you all, and I'm happy uh, to convey my deepest congratulations to you, Michel, uh, for uh, being a great scientist and a great personality contributing not only to the science but to the welfare of society. And if we think about the targets of the Israel Academy of Sciences and Humanities, the two targets are promoting, promoting science for the welfare uh, of society and uh, Michel accomplishes it a full, in full, in full strength. I have to tell you that a few years ago, I heard Michel talking on a TV program. It was an interview, uh, actually dedicated to Parashat Shavua, if I'm not mistaken. And I was thrilled to hear Michel. Uh, I was deeply impressed by his uh, deep knowledge uh, of science, of Bible, by his modesty and by his charm. So, uh, you are uh, young, you know. Uh, 80 is uh, the new 40. And uh, I uh, extend my wishes to you and to the family and to the community of science and industry in Israel uh, for many, many happy returns. And we are happy to have this wonderful uh, celebration here. And I regret that I cannot stay on with you because I have former commitments. But with my heart, I'm with you. Thank you. Thank you, Neely. So you are the second woman to serve here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, next I would like to invite Professor Ruther Noon to have greetings, but before I want to say several words, uh, Ruther Noon is well known all over the world, but I'll try in two minutes to say some, some highlights. 
Professor Ruth Arnon is the past president of Israel Academy of Science. Now we all know that she was the first woman in this position. Professor of, of biochemistry and immunology at Weizmann Institute of Science. Professor Arnon, as I remember, was also the vice president of Weizmann Institute. And she has been involved in publishing of more than 400 articles and books in biochemistry and immunology and has been the recipient of many prestigious awards throughout her career all over the world. Amongst them, I want to emphasize two, Israel Prize for Medicine and Wolf Prize for Medicine for the development of the Copaxon. Also, I remember that you were a personal consultant to the President of Israel. So may maybe so many other uh, very prestigious positions. So we don't have enough time. So please come to the podium. Okay. It is the custom of the Academy to uh, hold a event uh, for every member who reaches the age of uh, 80. But uh, this event is really different from any event that I remember during my quite a few years in the academy because usually the event starts later in the afternoon. Uh, there are two or three talks about the scientific contribution uh, of, the, uh, uh, of the member who reached the age of 80. And uh, then there is somebody from the family who say contribution of the uh, family. And, uh, and then we have dinner. But uh, in this event, Really, it is the first time that I see that we have the whole Michel tribe, a uh, Revel tribe, uh, being here with us and really making this event a very, very special one. So, Michel, uh, this is a congratulation not only to you, but to your uh, entire family. Uh, I've known Michelle for many years. Uh, we both uh, work at the Weizmann Institute, and uh, for quite a few years, not that we are competitors, because we worked on completely different things, but each of us was involved in the development of a drug for multiple sclerosis. Now, I think I, this is a fact that I would like to emphasize here. Uh, at the time, there were four drugs against multiple sclerosis, and two of them were developed at the Weizmann Institute, which I think that it is something completely extraordinary. Now we have uh, three other drugs, but still both Rebif and the Copaxone are still uh, going strong in the field of multiple sclerosis, and I think that this is uh, saying something both about the Weizmann Institute and about Israel in general, and contribution of the Israel biotechnology to, uh, uh, to the world, and even I would like to say to the welfare uh, uh, of the world. So, uh, but Michelle is special in an additional way. Actually, several additional ways. First of all, uh, after he retired from the Weizmann Institute, he established a company which is really flourishing, and I am sure that uh, we will hear about it uh, in uh, the lecture uh, soon, so I will kadima them, so I will not elaborate on it. But my personal experience with Michel is that whenever you ask him to volunteer to any uh, job or task, he always agrees and does it on the best way. And uh, for several years, I, I chaired the forum Telem. And twice I've asked Michelle to chair a committee that was not an easy job. And in both cases, he did a fantastic job. And Michelle, I'm grateful uh, to you for that. So I don't want to take the time of uh, the, uh, the lecturers that are going to uh, speak to us today. So all I would like to say to Michelle and Claire and the entire Revel family, 
Congratulations, Michel. You have lived, you, I mean, you had a wonderful life, and we are still looking forward to wonderful contribution for you in the future. Mazaltov. <laughs>